Once you guys are set, just, uh, and then we're going to, yeah. And the. Yeah, no, there, it won't be like a large, there, there are a few children that will come to the very front here, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. <laughs> All right, so what's our nigga? Maybe just a Kimitsion is a good one. There's also... for me to just not have to think. Thank you. All right, so we're just looking here. So just looking over the order of the day. So we've got Anigun, which I guess I'll do Kimi Tsion. Uh, no worries. Um, reconciling what? Yeah, so Anigun. Hello, everyone. Well, if 
Naomi is ready. It looks like we'll be a few minutes. Yeah, I have a little mic here, actually. Oh, let me just do Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Let me stay, yeah. Can uh, you hear me oh, now? The actually, they're right there. I guess you could just tell adults to get them. Uh, no, Can get anyone them. hear me? Talk. And then this doesn't need to. This doesn't need to be here. I guess if no one's using this. Hello. Can you, can you help me just by putting this in the small sanctuary? Yeah, just to have it out of the way. And then... Hi, can you hear me? But can you hear me? Can you hear me? I could do the Kane Street nigga, and I could do or Kimitsi on Kimitsi on Tetsitola, or I don't know if there's something else that's lively that you can do. Is this working? Do you want the stand? No, I don't stand. All right. So, hello. I want to get the show on the road because I know, um, you know, everybody needs to go to sleep, uh, <laughs> including me. Oh, right, but you have to eat first. And, of course, the ice cream is melting in the other room. So let's get rocking and rolling. So it is our tradition here to welcome all of the new members of our Jewish Journeys, commonly known as Hebrew School, but now it's Jewish Journeys Hebrew School at Ohabi Zedek eventually Jewish Journeys Hebrew School, eventually just Jewish Journeys. Um, so we are in this journey together, and to kick off our official journey, um, we always give our newest students a... Ooh, feedback. What's that? 
um, we give everybody a um, horror scroll. And I just want to make sure. Oh, by the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Naomi. <laughs> um, um, wow, if I told you a different name, would you get a bigger crowd? No, um, I'm director of youth education here. Um, and um, I wanted to thank Basha Brody over there. She took off her hat, but I'm sorry to see. Um, Basha has um, donated all of our mini tour scrolls in memory of her mother, Bernice Brody, who taught first grade for over 40 years, okay? Wow, amazing. So, without any further ado, I am going to call up all of our first year students and we are going to ask them to stay up here, okay? So, um, we have Saffron, come on up. Check these out, okay? If you're not enrolled at Ohio's Edit Keeper School Jewish Journeys, you may want to do that just to get one of these. Come on up, Saffron. Oh, since when are you shy? Here you go, hold on to that and just stay up here. All right, we have Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte in the house. I think Charlotte's in the house. Come on up, Charlotte. All right, hold on to that, stay up here. We have Juno, who I do not believe is here this evening. We have Abe, who I know is not here this evening. Molly also hasn't been able to make it. <gasps> May, where's May? Oh my God, everybody's so shy. Come on up. There you go. Nice dress. Okay. We have Leah. Come on up, Leah. Come on up, Leah. Ben, I know Ben is here. Okay, Ben, here you go. We have Eliana, who I do not believe is here this evening. We have Xenia. Come on up, Xenia. Yeah. Woohoo! You can do it. All these shy, shy children. Could you be this shy during class, maybe? Um, we have. Ava, I don't know, believe Ava is here this evening, and we have Alden, who I know is not here this evening. So that's only in our first years, okay? That's our kindergarten wanderers. Good name for them, huh? Um, in our scouts class, we have Jack, who I know is not here. We, in our second grade seekers, we have William, we have Reed, and we have Zahavi. Come on up, Zahavi! <laughs> You're looking sharp. Okay, in our third grade Pathfinders, we have B, who I know is at gymnastics. And we have Elizabeth, commonly known as Edie. Come on up. There you go. Stay up here, though. Okay, in our fifth grade Voyagers class, we have Edie's sister, Marta. Come on up. Okay, it's, oh, it's not, it didn't come up online, huh? All right, should we get, uh, well, well, okay. Then we have Mo, come on up, Mo. Yeah. That's it for Mo, come on, people. All right, good job. Next, in our sixth grade explorers class, we have Eva, who is not here, also at gymnastics. And we have a special one for our explorers class, sorry, for our, um, our six, regular 6th, six, 7th class, Julia, who's going to get two things. Julia, come on up. Yes, you have to come up. Are you okay? Are you okay? Stay, stay up here. And then we have in our... Nav no, no, that's the wrong one. No. Okay, so let's hear it for all of our first year students. <laughs> Customarily, go ahead and bless our first year students. So let's get the tallest out. Yeah, so we've got uh, some adults up here, but we could use a few more tall people. We've got two really tall That would be you. <laughs> Always you. You're, come on up. And, uh, that would not be me. Eight tall people. Yeah. And the children, come on up. And the tallest is. Uh, Everybody. 
everybody get under the tallest. This is very special. Oh, I guess this would be me. Hold on. May God bless you and keep you. May God favor and be gracious to you. May God show you kindness and peace. Shalom. Sing shalom. Shalom. Ve'asem lecha shalom. Shalom. Ve'asem lecha shalom. Yevarechecha. Yevarechecha. We bless them with shalom. Shalom. Ve'asem lecha shalom. the taluses on them. <laughs> All right. All right, so we have a strong force here today. I just want to let you know we actually yeah, have 22 good. new students this year and a total of 73 students in our class in our school this year, which is incredible. Now we're going to go to the opposite side, the opposite end of our learning spectrum which is our last year students. The students here who are in their last year of formal study. And that includes our seventh grade navigators and our seventh grade, sixth and seventh grade adventurers. So can we please get, hold on, I gotta do this in alphabetical order according to the Cedarim. Julia, come on up again. Just when you thought it was safe to sit down. Please stay up here. So this, um, this tradition was established a couple of years ago when we had a parent say, why do we give kids sidurim at their bi mitzvahs when they need them to study for their bi mitzvahs? Uh, duh. Okay, so we learn from our mistakes and now we give them out at the beginning of the year. Next we have Gil, come on up, Gil. There you go, sir. Next, we have Asher, who is, did not make it this evening. We have Avraham. Who is it? Abe, come on down. You're the next contestant at Jewish Journeys. Go, sir. My pleasure. Next, we have Eli. Come on down. Or come on up, however you want to look at it. There you go, sir. You're looking very sharp there today. Next, we have Elizabeth Odie is busy doing dance. Sam Rauch could not make it. Kayla and another Eli. So, we have, again, this year we have 
Oh, I gotta do my little cheat sheet here, which I don't know where it is. Wait. We have we have nine students um, who are in their last year of study, so make sure and pay attention for when you get to attend their well-earned e mitzvah. So let us now um, do the prayer for participating in the learning of the Torah. Last oh, yeah, so the word, the blessing that we say upon before studying Torah, the mitzvah of studying Torah is la asuk b'divrei Torah. That asuk, asukim or asuka is like your business or you're busy with something. It's not just that you're learning it like you're studying for a test. You're actually taking those words of Torah and living them and bringing the tree of life to life. So la asuk b'divrei Torah. So let's say this blessing together, which is. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddishanu B'mitzvotav B'tzivanu La'asok B'divrei Torah And now the Shehechianu on this moment of you getting your first Sidor, this book of magical Jewish spells. Baruch Everyone join me. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu v'kimanu v'higianu l'azman You may blow Mazel close to town. So that concludes the consecration part of our evening. And thank you all for your support. Make sure and send plenty of cards and letters. And I want to say that, uh, yes, call to all, everyone in Miami, thank you. Uh, we are going to take a moment to uh, break for some ice cream, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so also, but this is not the end of the evening. So if your child is able, and I know it's, uh, it gets a little bit late, but hopefully you could stay at least for the first few rounds of dancing. That will start a little bit before seven. We're gonna, after this, we're gonna around six, at 6.30, I guess we have to wait till 6.30, it's 6.20 now. We're gonna do the Mari evening service, which is gonna take about 20, 25 minutes. And then we'll go into the Torah service and the dancing a little before seven. So if you can stay for at least the beginning of that, that would be awesome. Uh, or the whole thing. It's going to mm -hmm. be really fun. So keep so plenty of time to eat your ice cream and come back for plenty yeah, of fun. Yeah, there's plenty of time. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's, that makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. That is so beautiful. Might stay on better, yeah. Is it staying on? Yeah, it stays on good. I think it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to have to wear a hat because I. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Made in Vermont. Nice. For your cat. Oh, that's cute. Thank you.
<laughs> Once the hacker phone started, yeah, I would wait. Nice. I was just thinking I should have, oh, that's right, there is stuff in the back that Four lines up from the bottom on page 43A. Amavir <clears> banav bengi
You may be seated. This is where we take a pause from the book, from the service as you know it. And in just a few moments, uh, we will begin the Torah service for Simchat Torah. And I'm going to move some of my things out of the way for that. <clears throat> All right. And I know that uh, Rob is going to give an introduction to set some of the uh, <clears throat> guidelines for the next part of this fun evening. Good. We are back and ready for you. Oh. Okay, uh, that is, started. okay, cool. All right, so guys, <clears throat> we have to transform this room. Can you hear me? Okay. You guys can hear me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, maybe we should get that mic stand back over here. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this space, you know, we did a mm -hmm. lot of praying and sitting <clears throat> and standing. Now we're going to, instead of just sitting in place, we're going to use our bodies as a form of prayer. So uh, actually, wait. Stay seated for a sec, though, because I'll, I'll, you can sit while I'm while I'm telling you about Simchas Torah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move all the chairs to the back of the room, basically, so that we have as much room as we can. And then people can also still sit on the chairs as they're kind of in the back and on the sides here. Um, so, yes. That's the beginning of the Torah. Service. In the Torah service, yes, we're going to do that. I just want to. Speak first, because then everyone's going to be standing, I think, at that point. So I don't want everybody to be standing while I'm speaking. Um, so tonight is Simchas Torah. We just had Sukkot, which is said to be like, uh, kind of like the chuppah uh, of a wedding. And the wedding is between God and the people of Israel. And this is the party. We just had Shemini Atzeret was the Yichu, the couple goes inside. And now the wedding party between God and Israel. And just as at a wedding, if you've been to a wedding, they lift the bride and the groom up in chairs, um, we're going to be lifting the Torah up as that is the connection that we have between us and God. When we hug and we kiss and we dance with the Torah, we're showing our love for the Creator who gives us wisdom and meaning from the Torah and our love for being Jewish. Simchas Torah is said to be the highest light out of all the holidays, it's the crescendo, the ultimate union of creator and creation through the Torah. The Bala Sulam teaches that Simchas Torah means that, not that we are happy per se, although we can be happy, but Simchas Torah means the Torah herself. She is happy. She is rejoicing because it's the, the one who is the connection to us and the creator is rejoicing to be able to give us all this light. So we dance with each other and the Torah dances with us we dance with God tonight, and God dances with us. Um, and it's taught that God, when God gave the Torah, God never actually let go. That when we're holding the Torah, we're like holding hands with God. Now, many people have been asking, you know, if this has been a truly, a, it has been a year since October 7th, uh, a day that shattered many lives. And, you know, how, ca how can we truly celebrate on this day? I like to think about how Jews have survived thousands of years of persecution, that in every generation we had to grapple with death and choose life. We've been forced to face tremendous loss, and yet we still choose joy. We don't hold on to grudges for no reason. It's a commandment to be joyous while we're wrestling with grief, not celebrating in the absence of grief, but in spite of it, or rather our celebration helps us grapple with grief and choose life. Uh, the hakafot means to go around in a, in a circle, and this dancing that we do 
is an extension of the Hoshanot that we do um, during Sukkot, where we go around the Torah. That, that time we do it with the Lulav and the Etrog, crying out, Hoshana, save us, please help us. And, I, and tonight is an extension of that, is our dancing with the Torah scrolls on Simplest Torah is our final attempt to invoke the power of God, dancing around the Torah scrolls, seven rounds, each round, in between, the cantor will lead us in Hoshiana, which means please help us, please save us, right? Um, and so even though Simcha's Torah is considered to be joyful, like a wedding, these prayers in between, or introducing the Hakafa are not joyous. They are desperate pleas that we might sing them in an upbeat style and the kids are on our shoulders and we're bouncing, enjoying the dancing, but we're actually begging for our very lives in those prayers. So Jewish dancing is not something we just do because we're happy. Dancing is our service. It's our service to the Creator. It's a culmination this day of the high holiday service which began with Rosh Hashanah and then Yom Kippur and then Sukkot. And the book is sealed, but we still have one more holiday that has the power to avert the evil decrees through the power of dance and song. That's the most powerful thing we've got left. So our sages teach that we dance on Simchas Torah, we're sweetening all of the bad things that are to come in the coming year. So this is the yard site, the first yard site of over 1,200 Israelis who were, who were murdered at this, on this day. Uh, Kohelet teaches there's a time to mourn and a time for rejoicing. When it comes out on the same day, how do we, how do we sensitive to that, to the, the happiest day of our Jewish life, tinged now with sadness? At Jewish weddings, we have a tradition of the groom stepping on the glass and breaking it. At the most joyful moment of the couple's life, we do this to mourn the temple while also celebrating joy. Uh, we also celebrate and the, the hope that the couple brings us for the future. We're also remembering that the world is still broken. So at our wedding celebration tonight, we will lift up the Torah because she is the tree of life that reminds us that we are more than our fear and our sadness. The timelessness of the Torah lifts us up beyond our current situation and reminds us that our story, the story of the Jewish people, is much larger than any particular moment in history. And I'll close by saying, the Jewish people didn't become so resilient by accident. Generation after generation, our Torah and traditions taught us how to choose joy and choose life. Last year on Simplest Torah, I called everyone together and I said, our brothers and sisters in Israel cannot dance around the Torah, so we must dance, and it will be our form of prayer. As we dance with the Torah last year and also tonight, as we touch and kiss and lift up the tree of life at the center of our circle, it will be our prayer of strength and light that will ripple out to the greater circle of the Jewish people and the entire world. Even on October 7th, or the, the lunar uh, date of October 7th, the Jewish calendar, we cannot let darkness overwhelm us, and we will transmute the darkness into light through our dancing. So one of the ways we'll do that is through the, the dancing of the, the, the joyful dancing of the hakafot. The sixth hakafa, oh, and one thing I should say is we're going to need some talits, talitot. So if somebody's out by the lobby there, can grab a few, uh, that would be great. Because when you're holding a Torah, uh, you want to be wearing a talit out of respect for the Torah. And everybody here, we have, it's a, it's a small enough crowd that everybody could actually hold a Torah from one of the hakafot. Um, and uh, one other thing I'll say is the sixth hakafa is going to be, the penultimate one, there's seven, is going to be slower and dedicated to uh, the victims of October 7th and also the hope for the future. We're going to be, the Torahs will be in the middle, people who are holding them will sit on chairs, <coughs> we'll all be crowded around them, and we'll sing songs of peace and healing, and then we'll have a moment of silence, and then we'll go into the final hakafa, which is, you know, Am Yisrael Chai and, and Oje Bosh, or uh, Ose Shalom, prayers for peace and hope uh, for the future. And then after that, we will do a little bit of reading of the Torah. We're actually going to finish reading the Torah, and then Sammy is going to read uh, what she read last year on the uh, on her bat mitzvah, the very beginning of the Torah. So we'll end, and then we'll start again. Um, and just a few words about dancing. Um, yep, wrapping it up. Yep, yep. It's not even seven yet. Chill. We were supposed okay. to get to the actual dancing at seven. All right, all right. But this is important. And I have to say something about October 7. Okay, okay so um, in terms of the dancing, this is how it's going to work. At the beginning of each hakafa, 
we're going to gather in two circles, one circle inside of the other circle. We did this last year. And each, each person will be facing toward the other person, the inner circle facing the outer circle. Here, come up over here. We'll demonstrate. And you'll put your hands up like this. And the Torahs will go underneath that tunnel, that circle tunnel, and through. While we are singing, Ana Adonai Ho Shiana, and we respond, Ha Shiana, right? So during that time, and as the Torah goes by, you, you can touch and kiss the Torah as it goes through that tunnel. And then when we get to Anenu, the Torahs come to the middle. And the Torahs, just like at a wedding, the couple is in the middle of the circle that we're dancing. The Torahs generally stay in the middle of the circle. You can go around the perimeter with the Torah, but generally stay in the middle. When you're dancing with the Torah, just hold it close to your body. Try not to drop it. And, uh, and then each, and at the end of each hakafa, you can take the Torah and hand it to, find somebody else who wants to hold the Torah, give them the talis and the Torah, and we'll, we should all be able to get a chance here tonight. Uh, one last thing I'll say is that when we are dancing with the Torahs, um, it's important that we're not just kind of like, no, there's an outer circle that can do that, but the inner circle needs to be quick, needs to be fast, unless, unless it's a slow song, which we don't have any. So, and you can do it by, here's Sammy, one more. So, I recommend in the, in the middle, if the circle is too big, put your hands on each other's shoulders and run in circles around the Torah. <laughs> okay, so we should have some fun with this. And uh, certainly if you have kids, you can put them on your shoulders or just dance around. Um, but the main thing is that we have fun and that we lift up the souls of all of the people that we're remembering today as well with our joy and have okay. uh, an elevation uh, for the Jewish people. All right, I think we're ready. So do yes. we have the, the, the talises? Page right. 402. What? Hold on a sec. We have to move the chairs back. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all the chairs to the back of the room. That means everybody come to the front of the room. If you're in the back, don't get stuck back there. Come to the front, please. If you're in the back, promptly move mm -hmm. your chairs and come to the front. Where's the mic? OK. You can just leave it there. That's fine. Where's the microphone? There was a microphone here. It's gone. It was. It's on. It was on that, is it that one back there? Oh, there it is. I think that was that mic. That was a different mic stand. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll do the best I can. Because I can. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. I mean, I think the way that we... That what All we're right, you might want a seat door because we are not done with the seat door yet. Okay. We got to start. Instrumental. And then if we are really rocking, then I guess vocals again. Can you do what? Go in the middle? You won't go in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'm saying maybe three times, but yeah. Okay. You don't chill with me. Cool. All right. All okay. right. Okay. All right. Whoops. All right. All right. I'm. Should I just start page 402? We have to do page 402. We haven't done Ansa Haritana yet. 402. Hello? And nobody has to see door now. So What'd you say? Can't... We should have waited until after this part because now they don't have a seat door to actually do the part we have to do now. They could still grab a seat door. Okay. Please grab a seat door. We are on page 402. Okay. I'm not getting enough volume on the mic here. Um, Baruch, can we get a little more volume? I can't even hear my own voice. I still can't hear my own voice. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Is this thing on? All right. It's, it's it doesn't. Fine. We it's not go. coming through the speakers. It might be on the Zoom, but it's not coming through the speakers. Okay, we're on 402. Go for it. Ah, tore to la da, ki adonai hua elohim, ain o milavato. Repeat. 
Ye <laughs> Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Imloch, Leolam Ba'ed. Adonai Ozeh Mo'itein, Adonai Yivarech, Ez Amo Ba'shalom. Open the ark and please continue to repeat after me. Right. Well, cool. Vayehi bin Zohar Rod, Vayomer We shouldn't repeat every word, every line. It's too long. Okay. Zim Nuchatecha, Okay, we need six people to hold the Torahs for the first round. Come on up. So now we're going to make two circles, one circle inside of the other. Um, so I know we can do this. Um, we're going to have to do this at the beginning of every hakafa. So if you guys, and we, I really don't want to start the hakafa until we have two complete circles. Right now it still looks like a mess. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead and take the Torahs. You got it, okay, great. We got six Torahs. There we go, it's coming in, it's coming along. All right, bring the Torahs down, you can start going. Slowly through the tunnel. (laughs) 
So the words, if you happen to have a CDR and you want to see it, they're on page 404. And the words are, Ana Adonai Oshiana, please God, help us, save us, answer us on the day that we call. Yeah, there, Baruch, there needs to be more volume in the room on the mics if you could do that. There's not enough volume on the mics in the room. Sorry, it sounded really, I, I wasn't really angry, I just came off that way. Okay. I need more volume. Okay. All right, come on, walk on down with the Taurus, please. If you have a Torah, walk down. And we're going through the tunnel of Torah love. Follow the children. Children, go ahead. And we begin.
have a Torah and bring it over to somebody else who wants to hold the Torah. Give them the Talit. Show them how to hold the Torah. And we're going to form two circles again, or at least one circle. I don't know. At this point, we might have to just go with one. <coughs> okay. So let's make a circle around the Torahs. The Torahs are going to go around the perimeter. And... We'll sing Anna Adonai, Hoshiana. Please, Hashem, save us. All right. All right, here we go, everybody. Torah's going through the tunnel of love. It's okay if it's not a circle. Let's just go back around. Something round shaped. No, Yeshua, shot in my Yeshua, 
and my intercession. I need more volume on the mic, please. My intercession. Hey, 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 hey. My, 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 my intercession. My, 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 my intercession. Oh, shut the mic. This is a song. In my name, I wish you well. Shut the mic. This is a song. In my name, I wish you well. My, 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 my intercession. If you're of age, of course, drink responsibly. Okay, we are ready for the third akafa. Are you ready, Kendrick Roper? Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is this is work. This is our service.
if you would like to. We still need some more people to help hold the Torah. This is our service. This is our service to the Jewish people, our service to God. Thank you. 
la 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 Shall we sing a little more, most one more song? Sing it with me this time. It'd be great to have all our voices.
Hakafa, which means. Is this thing on? Yes, okay. So um, we are in the sixth Hakafa. So if people can bring in chairs for the people with Taurus to sit towards the middle, and we're all going to sit close to them, around them, in a blob. And we will sing some songs because this is the yard site. Oy. This is the yard site of October 7 victims. I want to share this ancient mystical teaching with you. Please, everybody, come in and sit down around the Torah chairs in the middle. You don't need a chair. You can sit right on the floor. Or you need a chair, you can bring a chair. Okay, so I want to share with you this teaching, this mystical teaching. According to our tradition, when someone dies, all of the light that they brought into the world during their life comes flooding back into the world. So we have to imagine, and that happens also on the yard site, the anniversary of someone's passing. So we have to imagine that all of the light that these, those almost three, 1,300 Israelis brought into the world will come flooding back into the world tonight as we dance with them in our hearts, in our heartbeats, in our breath, in our song, our tears, in our sweat. Holding our Torah of eternity, may their holy souls surround us and be elevated by our dance and song tonight. May our aching prayers reach the source of blessing, storm and rain down blessing for the land and for the people of Israel and all the people in the Middle East. And we send our love and our comfort to those who are mourning their loved ones who miss their family members today. On Yom Kippur, in the martyrology, we say... We, we speak of the, the story of Rabbi Yehuda ben Tradion, who was one of the make, great rabbis murdered by the Romans. And each one was more cruel than the last. In this one, they wrapped him in a safer Torah in the parchment, and they poured a bunch of water on it so that it would take longer to burn. When he was dying, he had a look of ecstasy. His students asked him, what do you see, Rabbi? He said, I see that the parchment is burning, but the letters are flying free. You can burn the parchment, but you can never extinguish the Jewish soul, which is eternal. The Jewish people's soul is eternal, and it will be with us forever. We will remember the pain of the burning of the parchment, the way they were mistreated. 
but also will remember that the Jewish soul, each one of those survived people who died, each one of them is pirchot ba'avir, like letters flying in the air. And they are eternal. They were with us tonight. One of the fathers of the October 7th victims said recently, I realized that the same place that tears come from is the same place that joy comes from, the nefesh, the soul. And I think it's because both love and loss are about yearning for closeness. Sometimes the letters, sometimes they're on the parchment, like when we're in our bodies, we're alive, and sometimes they're pirchot bavir, flying in the air. The souls are still present, flying in the air. May Hashem immediately help us bring back also the 100 hostages and look after our sons and daughters who are fighting for the existence of Israel and peace for the whole region. We're going to be praying for peace in this hakafa. So let's begin the sixth hakafa, and, uh, and then we'll be singing Ufros Aleinu, Sukkot Lomecha, and Olam Chesed Yibaneh.
I said before, part of how we've survived these thousands of years of persecution is that we choose to build the world with love. We don't hold on to our grudges. We find ways to build and create life and to create life with love and chesed. Olam chesed, yibaneh. We will build this world, this broken world that feels very broken. It can always be rebuilt with love. Olam chesed yibaneh Yalala Stand up and arm in arm, swaying arm in arm. Hey, la la la, you must build this world. You must build this world from love. Ya la 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 la, ya la la la. If we build this world, and if we build this world, ya la la. Then God will build this world from love. Ya la 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 la. Olam chesed one more time. Olam chesed yibane. Ya la la. and the future generations. We're going to stand, the Torahs are going to stand up and we're going to move those chairs to the back or the side and let's move all the chairs away so we can do one more hurrah. This is the final hurrah of the high holidays. So you think of all the things that you worked on the past month or really two months with Elul and just bring it right into your prayers and your dance and also remembering that what we, the reason we've survived all these years is because we've chosen life. Am Yisrael Chai. So first we're going to sing the last Hakafa introduction and then go into Am Yisrael Chai. If you haven't had a chance to hold the Torah and you would like to hold the Torah, this is your chance. This is the last, the last chance.
That's the last one.
Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Woo! Somebody cut him off. He's had a little too much. All right. We're ready to wrap it up with the tourist service, the tour reading. So we're going to now turn. for directing the band. Let's give a round for Mark Marty Fogel. All right, and I also want to thank, I also want to thank Lisa Glass Kornstein and, and your whole family, Sammy, because last year we started this tradition and we kept it going. All right, so let's do it. Let's keep that tradition going with the tourist service. Cancer, do you know where we are? I know where we are. We're at the tourist service. We're going to move that tourist stand to the middle, we're gonna slide it, and then we're gonna put away all but two Torahs. Uh, Rich is gonna tell you which ones are going away and which ones are staying. And feel free to pull a chair forward if you want. Which ones are staying? Okay, so this one, Valerie's is staying, what else? Okay, all right, bring them up and Rich will tell you which one is staying. And then if you guys can help us move the Torah stand to the middle. And if you'd like to bring a chair, you can sit down somewhere. Uh, well, when the Torahs sit, are seated. All right, here we go. Okay. There is water in the social hall, right? Drinks in the social hall. So if you need to hydrate, go ahead and get some drinks and come back. I think you can lay that down. Okay. And we're going to read from the Torah now. We're going to read the end of the Torah. And then we'll start all over again with a few verses. With Sammy's going to read a few verses. So, we are now going to read from the Torah. Okay, we need the, we need the, all right, my friends, we need the Torah that actually is rolled to Vizal Haberacha. And that's, this one's what page are we on? This one's Horatius. I don't know we need what the page, 404. No? What page is it? Yeah, okay. Where the, there's, no more, there's no more page in here. Oh, just, just the I just, but this is the one for Bereshit. We need the one for Vizal Haberacha. Where's the, uh, where's the one for Vizal Haberacha? Okay, great. All right, that's the one that needs to come up here. This one needs to go... Not right here, here right now. Okay. Oh, I'm All right, I'm sorry. I just okay. 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 So the first Aliyah is going to be. We're gonna. We're not gonna do. Some synagogues have, like, people in the corners doing lots of readings, and so everybody can get one of their own individual aliyah. But uh, we're not gonna do that tonight. Um, but we are going to invite as many people. Yeah, pull up your chairs. As many people as want to come up for the first aliyah. Do we have any kohanim? Are there any kohanes in the room today? I know there's one over there. Okay, so the first aliyah is for Kohanim. The second aliyah, and if you're the daughter of a Kohen, then please also come up if you feel comfortable doing that. 
And the, the second one will be Livy Im. So that's uh, anybody who's a Levy or the daughter of a Levy. And then, yeah. Do that though. We are going to be on page 325 because at this point we have returned all the scrolls except for the ones that we are going to be reading to the R. So one moment, please, as I open my book. All right. All right. Just like in the morning, we're on page 325. The Shema. All right. Shema Yisrael. Our turn, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Eloheinu, Kadosh Venora Shemo. Yehi, 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 Ruben, Ve'al Yamut, 
יעמוד ויהי מוטב, מטב מספר, וזאת לאדוני ביום, ליהודה ויאמר שמע אדוני כל עד יהודה, ועל עמו תביאנו ידיו רב לו, ועזר מצריו תהיה. So this next one is for anyone who has not gotten an aliyah yet. It's a special thing to have an aliyah on Simchas Torah. So I encourage everyone who's able to come up. You don't even have to know the blessing. Just kind of stand up here. And then the next one actually will have children come up. But if you want to come up for both children, it's okay. <laughs> you can come up for both. But specifically, the next one is for children. But you can come up with your parents if you want for this one as well. The idea is that we are still not so ready to leave the season, so uh, I'm going to chant you chanting this in the trope that we use for the high holidays. Uh, and also one more thing is that the end of the Torah ends with the word, the letter Yud, no sorry, le Lamed, and it starts with the letter Bet, which spells Lev, which spells heart. So after we finish this and then begin the very sheet, we're going to be spelling heart. Fuet Adonai Hamorah Baruch Adonai Hamorah Leolam Baet Baruch Atah Adonai Elohim Yalai Kamalam Asher Bacham Mikol Amin Benatan Lanu Et Torato 
Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah dying and getting to see the whole land. He's out on a cliff and God's showing him the land that he's not going to go into. Yisrael is the last word. Everyone say. No, yeah. it's not. No, it's not. What? No, it's not. Oh, what's the last word? We're not reading the ending. We're not. That's, 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 that's tomorrow morning, my friend. That's not tonight. That's not tonight. Okay. You're getting ahead of yourself. Okay. Why don't we? All right. More for you? Okay. Good. Moving on. Find out tomorrow. Come back tomorrow morning. Find the rest of the story. Okay, now it's on. Listen again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Amen. 